Will back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I'll be talking about three penny stocks that can rock it tomorrow, okay? I'll be giving you guys key levels, buying levels where I'm looking to buy, resistance levels where I'm looking to exit, and support levels where I'm looking for price to hold, okay? I also go over the old levels as well. As you can already tell, the levels hit perfectly, okay? So make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe, turn your post notifications so you don't miss any updates. And always remember to share the video out to your friends and family so we can spread that knowledge. Now, the first penny stock I'll be talking about today is Sundell Growers, ticker symbol SNDL, ticker symbol SNDL. Now, I don't know why I always forget to put my alerts, but that is something I'm trying to work on. But um, the levels did hit perfectly today. So let's go out to the five minute chart. Now, tell me this is not perfect. OK, that's why I say. Don't miss the video. Buying level I gave you guys, 67 cents. The low, look at the low, it'll come right here. The low, 67 cents. Buying pressure, okay? Now, the thing about this one, it really didn't give a clear entry in here. There is an entry, but if I would've saw it, I would've entered here, but then that would've cut out some of the percentage. Let's see if we would've entered would only been like 5%, 8%. That's still okay, but usually my minimum is 10%. So I don't know if I would have took that per se, but um, it did show buying pressure level hit perfectly. Where did the resistance come in? Right here. Tried to get above it, came back down to it, below it kind of zigzagged, and eventually just broke down, right? So the, both of the levels hit perfectly. So hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys got in that one. So the new levels I'm kind of looking out for, again, this is Sundell Grower Stock, ticker symbol SNDL. We're going to go out to the 90-day, 30-minute chart, and we're going to be putting all new levels. But this time, I'm going to be putting my alerts so I don't miss it again, okay? So for Sundell Growers, first thing I'm looking for, I'm looking for an exit around 70, 70 cents. So let me just drag it out here. So around 70 cents, I'm looking for that exit, okay? For buying pressure, I'm looking for buying pressure around 65 cents. So I want some pullback. Okay, it's already pulling back a little bit after hours, which is good. Let's see. All right, let's turn that green. So that's the main level I'm kind of looking at to buy now, around 65 cents area, and take us up to around that 70 cents area, about a seven percent gain. So I'll probably add a little bit more to the position. Say my normal position is around 10 grand. I'll probably add around 13, 14 grand to kind of equal out that profit. But I do like that play a lot. Uh, Sunday growth has been showing a lot of pressure. As you can see, pressure stalled out, pressure pulling back. So I kind of want a little harder pullback to kind of push it further. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking at right now. These are also the main two levels I'm looking at for Sunday Grower stock. Buying around 65, exiting around 70. Next penny stock is Hippo Holdings, ticker symbol H-I-P-O, ticker symbol H-I-P-O. So let's go ahead and clear the chart. I'm going to give you guys some levels. I do already own shares of this. This is a level I'm looking to buy more shares at, okay? I'm looking at this level to present buying pressure to buy more shares, okay? So Hippo, the first levels I give you guys, I'll give you guys some resistance. Now the thing about Hippo is... It does have a couple resistance levels above it, which will make it a little harder to kind of run. But I think if we start getting that pressure, I think we'll be able to blow through them. So 450 is an a resistance. 465 is a resistance. This is just the levels I'm looking at, and kind of it'll tell you whether to buy the stock or not. 455, I mean 465 is a resistance. And I don't see next resistance until around 490 to 5. So we can break through these resistance. It might come up slowly, kind of trickle down, break through it slowly. We just need to break through these. If we break through these, then I think it would be good to go to see higher prices. Okay. These are the main resistance level I'm kind of watching out for right now. Now for buying pressure, let's cancel that. I'm looking at around $4.30. That's the level I'm looking at for buying pressure. So let me turn that green. So that's where I'm looking at for that buying pressure, okay? That's where I'm looking at to buy more shares. You can tell that's only a 4% gain, that's only an 8% gain. 
So I'm looking at I'm looking to buy more shares here for the longer haul. Okay, you can scalp it as well. If you don't have shares of Hippo, you could probably scalp it right here and exit to around that 465 level for about an eight percent gain. That's still a nice gain. I might actually scalp it on a different account where I don't hold Hippo. Um, if it presents that buying pressure right there, I think that might be still good. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you use Will 50 off to get $50 off the stock market options crash course. It's very, very important to teach you how to trade in the markets, okay? Do not miss it. Link in the description, pin in the comments. But for right now, those are the main three levels I'm kind of looking out for. For Hippo, again, it's a penny stock, so don't put too much money in penny stocks, okay? Watch your risk management. I'm actually releasing a rich, a rich, a risk management, um, how to risk management your portfolio, your positions on the Discord this weekend. Okay, so make sure you join the Discord link in the description, put in the comments so you can get that info. Last penny stock, and also a uh, comment down below the penny stocks you guys are looking at. So, whichever one has the best levels, I'll go ahead and make a video on them for you guys tomorrow. So, the next penny stock is Waiter Holdings, ticker symbol. W T R H W T R H. Now, on this penny stock, we'll go over the old levels and then we'll go over the new levels to kind of weigh it out. Okay, I had an old buying level around a dollar 25, price is already above there, so we'll remove that. That is actually a still a buying level, but if it ever comes back down, I put it back on there. But for right now, we'll just take it off. Have a resistance level around a dollar 60. What happened today? Price ran, nice movement, resistance, resistance, resisted, fake price movement, resisted, fake, resisted, okay? Clear resistance at that level, okay? So that was perfect. I wanted to see that today. So we'll go ahead and move that. Let's go back out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart. So every candlestick is 30 minutes. If you haven't already, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and share the video. So next resistance level I'm kind of looking out for is around one, 70 so let's put that there this is also where i'm looking to exit nice quick scout play and then i'm looking for buying pressure at around a dollar fifty so let me turn that green so dollar fifty is where i'm looking at for that buying pressure i'll drag it out here where i'm looking for that buying pressure to occur if we get buying pressure there I'll go ahead and send that signal out on the buy and sell signal. So make sure you join. Link in the description, pin in the comments. Looking for about a 13, 14% scalp play. Okay. Very, very nice profits. I think that's very nice too, because what what have we been seeing? Pressure. Okay. Makes it a little easier to trade. So those are three penny stocks. Don't forget to comment the penny stocks you guys are looking at down below. Thank you guys for all the love on the channel. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.